Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Sonar Cube on Windows operating systems. First, go to Sonar Cube official website. See, this is the official website. See, empower development teams with the code qualities and security solutions that deploy integrates into your enterprise environment, enabling you to deploy clean code consistently and reliably. Okay. If you want to see what is Sonar Cube, click on it. See, this is the YouTube video. You can go it and you can check it. Okay. So click on download. See here we have different editions like community, developer, enterprise and data center. So see here, download for free. See, these three are paid ones. Okay. Click on download for free in the community edition section okay click on it see no need to register see they have started downloading this is the size go to downloads see it's a size is 434 megabytes wait until this download completes before that go to sonar official website sonar cube documentation then setup and overview click on requirements See, we must have installed Java. The required, the supported versions of Java are OpenJDK 7 or Oracle JRE. Let us verify. I have already installed Java version. Okay. CMD type Java hyphen hyphen version. See, I have already installed Java JDK, Java OpenJDK 17. If you want to install Java JDK on your machine, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Then other prerequisites, this is the RAM requirement and this is the space. See, these are the hardware requirement details. You can go through them, go through them. Okay, and supported only on 64 bit operating system. Only the compulsory prerequisites Java. See, download is completed. Go to show in folder. Now extract this zip file. Okay. Right click on it. Extract all. If you want to install WinRAR, then install it. You can extract all. Then select the path. See, it is going to download here, but I am going to change the path. Go to C drive. Computers. This PC C drive. Then create new folder. I am giving name as Sonar Cube. And hit enter. See, folder has been selected. Then click on select folder. It will extract the, all the files to this directory. Click on extract. Go to C drive. Go to Sonar Cube. See, it has created one more directory with Sonar Cube. Expand. See, successfully extracted zip file. Okay. Double click on it. Go to bin. Then select the operating system. Windows. See here we have sonar service.bat and start sonar.bat file. Okay. Now open command prompt or PowerShell as administrator. Start. Search for CMD. Then select run as administrator. Then copy this path where this start sonar dot batch file is there okay go to the command prompt cd then just give that path dir see we have start sonar dot batch file okay so just run this start sonar dot batch See, we have successfully started the Sonar Cube. Okay, open the browser, open new tab, then give localhost, generally 9000. Let me try with 9000. 
started on 9000 wait until this completely loads see now it is asking for the login name and password the default at the first time login name is admin and password also same admin and click on login now we have to set the password for this admin account so old one is admin then provide the new one click on update never if you want see this is the see if you want to import azure devops you have to click on setup if you want to import github you have to bit bucket okay if you want to create project you have to click on projects then create or just simply click on create a local project go to projects see this is the same set same tab we are in if you want administrator see here you have different options if you want to see the issues you have to tools and other options okay suppose if you want to connect to github account you have to give the configuration name and your github root github app id github api url and other things okay suppose if you want to stop this sonar cube just press control then c from your keyboard control plus c okay wait see once we press control c it has performed these actions if it won't works you have to give again control c now it is asking confirmation type y for confirmation also see here sonar cube is stopped okay hit y and hit enter see we have exited again now if you wrote if you now if you reload this one you won't be able to connect see we got the error even if you give the triple zero nine triple zero then also you will get the same the site cannot be reached now we are going to make sonar cube as windows service cd go to that path extracted path then copy this one then you dot then forward slash then paste that bat file then install see we have successfully installed the sonar cube so now go to the services just type services dot msc click on s see here we have the sonar cube right click on it or just select the service and click on start see we have successfully started the sonar cube now go to the browser then reload it see we have successfully connected to sonar then provide the password that we have set see we have successfully logged in again if you want to stop right click and stop it so in this video we have seen how to download install and configure sonar cube on windows 11 operating system the process is same for all windows operating systems then we have seen how to create sonar cube as windows service for more sonar cube or devops videos please subscribe my channel thank you